I like it very much. It's probably one of the most overused expressions an English learner could go for. Oh yeah, I like it very much. Oh, I like it very much. No. In this video, I'm gonna give you 15 alternatives that you can use to sound way better. Make sure to subscribe to English with Lingua Trip and let's get started. Everything's in English. All you need to know. All right, how did you learn to speak English? Okay, the first one. Now, we say, I like it very much. Very much is the part that we add to make I like it stronger, right? So actually, instead of saying very much, you can do something else to make it stronger and you can say, I do like it. And this way you're kind of just adding emphasis to the word like. And that one would be more appropriate to use when that fact is being questioned. Like, you don't like it at all. And you can say, uh, I do like it. I do like it. The second one is, I'm really into. For example, you could say, I'm really into documentaries. Yeah, I'm not really into it. Number three is a little more informal. You could say, I am crazy about something. I'm crazy about English. My buddy is crazy about motorcycles. I'm crazy about Tiffany's. Now the next one is very intense. I'm passionate about you like is not even the right word to describe it. You love it. You can't live without it. It makes you excited. It puts a smile on your face. It gives you a purpose. I'm passionate about. He is passionate about sports. Instead of saying he likes sports very much. Because you're passionate about it. Or you could say, I have a passion for. Which means you have a very strong interest in something. Um, I mean, the word interest against the word passion, I mean, it doesn't even come close. It, it, you can't compare that. Passion is way stronger. Uh, but, you know, if you really want to know what it means, you know, you're very, very interested. Eric has a real passion for photography. So, no, I, I wouldn't say I have a passion for HR. The next one is I am attracted to, and you can use this one with people or things. For example, he is attracted to his girlfriend. Well, good for him, right? Um, or you could say, I am attracted to the idea of a world peace. I am attracted to new cameras. <laughs> it's a real problem. He's attracted to power. So am I. The next one is, I am obsessed with. Now, be careful with this one. This one is very, very strong. If you are obsessed with someone or something, you can't stop thinking about it. As a matter of fact, you find it very difficult to think about anything else aside from that. That's all you want to talk about, think about, and you don't really see your life being meaningful without it. That's what obsession means. So um, why are people so obsessed with money, right? Someone like a like a an entry level English learner, a beginner, elementary level, whatever it is, they might say people like money very much. Now you being, you know, a more seasoned, experienced English learner, you can say people are obsessed with money. I am like obsessed with your accent. You guys are going to sound a lot more advanced with these expressions, so please don't forget them. But also. Don't forget about grammar. By the way, the LinguaTrip team put together a really awesome handbook, 12 in one handbook on English tenses. And it's gonna help you figure out how to use tenses and when to use tenses and just to understand how they can be used in your everyday life. And it's an ebook, it's digital. So you can click the link in the description box and get it right away. The next one is, I am hooked on something. Now, this one applies to things that you could be doing repeatedly and things that you choose to do repeatedly because you're hooked like a fish, you're hooked on something you can't stop. So let's say you're watching this very interesting show and you got hooked on it because every day you wake up and you wanna watch it. I got him hooked on Radiohead. The next one is, 
It gives me a thrill too. So that would be a feeling of extreme excitement, usually caused by something, something pleasant, something good. It gave me a thrill to see him again after so many years. I know it is madness to keep this journal, but it gives me a strange thrill to do so. The next one is to take pleasure in. Now this one basically means you enjoy doing something. We bought an old barn and took great pleasure in rebuilding it. I take pleasure in exiling you. The next one is informal. I have a thing for. Now you can use it with someone or something. And if you use it with a person, I have a thing for, would mean that you like that person. For example, I had a thing for my wife, Takea, from the very first moment we met. Or you could use it with someone and say, uh, my friend John has a thing for old cars. I have a thing for commanding salt and pepper types. The next one is I'm fascinated with. Now this one is slightly different because this one doesn't necessarily mean that you like it very much. It could though, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. Um, what it does mean is you find it amazing when you're fascinated by something you, you you just can't stop looking at it it's just mind-blowing it's you, it's incredible right so that's kind of what it means you're playing this video game and it's really really cool the graphics are very real right and the storyline is very awesome so you can say I am very fascinated with this game and you don't have to like it to be fascinated with it I was fascinated with other species like you the next one is similar to I'm crazy about something, and it would be I am wild about something. Tom is just wild about his new girlfriend. He won't stop talking about her. Hair is wild about me. The next one is I really enjoy. It's pretty simple, but you guys tend to forget it sometimes. I really enjoy doing something. I really enjoy meeting new people. And I really enjoy a nice pair of slacks. And the last one for the day is informal. And it's, I dig it. I dig it is kind of like, it could be very good or it could be neutral. So like, you could say, I dig it. I like it very much. Or you could say, I dig it. Like, I, I think I like it, yeah. It's all about how you say it and the tone of your voice, so be careful with that. I dig it, man. All right, guys, well, I hope this was helpful. I hope you find all these videos fascinating, and I, I really hope you are crazy about them. Start practicing all of these expressions by using them in the comments down below. Now, of course, subscribe to the channel and click right here to watch more videos. See you later. Bye-bye.